time you present something for me as a musician, it's a milestone event, really important, certainly for myself and my old partner from Fleetwood Mac, Rick Vito. We started this, put this band together with the absolute intention of representing fine players, singers from the Hawaiian island chain, representing a body of work from Fleetwood Mac, but also being open to reinterpreting some of those materials and making sure absolutely that the local players all are represented with either songs that they've written or songs that are part of their world in their own careers. just passing through let's face it but this is my home my family is here and I've always had a pipe dream about moving here for about 30 years so before I got a little long in the tooth uh, I thought it was about time I actually did it <laughs> I have a great love for these islands and there is far more culture than you realize but you have to look for it. I was just happy being here physically and emotionally without really knowing a lot about the culture. Now that's not the case. I just love it here. I have uh, no imaginings that I will ever live anywhere else now. Island Rumors is made up of Rick Vito, guitar and vocals, Willie Kay, guitar and vocals, and comedy, and he's incredibly talented gentleman. And he also uh, works in a, a unit called Barefoot Natives with Eric Gillian, a singer-songwriter, really good songwriter, part of the islands, born here, live here, generations of family here. Lopaka Colon from Oahu, fantastic human being, a pleasure, pleasure to play with. His father was a percussionist, he's a percussionist, it's just in the blood. Ryatea, 22 years old, starting to get incredibly well known here on the islands. Gretchen Rhodes, what a great voice. Her presence on stage is truly magical. On bass, Lenny Castellanos. Not an easy job to take, me having played with John McVie for so many years, but he's doing a fantastic job, a pleasure to play with. It's an eight-piece band, ready to rock and roll, all become friends, and it's, it's a chemistry thing. Loving you isn't the right thing to do.
fell in love with the Hawaiian Islands and more specifically Maui in about 1973. It was instant. Got off the plane and went, I love it here. Literally, not having moved or done anything, I just felt really safe. I can't really explain apart from a really magical sort of epiphany happened and happens every time through the years when I would leave, I would come back. And a lot of important things in my life have happened here, not only settling here finally, but I went through lots of changes in, uh, in my life and invariably they seem to take form here in Hawaii. Percussion player, you're really pushed on into a proactive position of needing and wanting to play with other players. And in truth, I live here now, but this was not always my home. And as a musician, you can become a great ambassador. You can bring people together and really bring what you have and what you've learned as a person and, a, and as a musician, and also pay homage to where you are. Island Rumors is very, very similar to that. And as long as you honor where you are, you, I believe, get a fantastic musical journey taking place. Well, I just got the town in my Fleetwood Cadillac. Yeah, I just got the town in my Fleetwood Cadillac. Going to Uber Lally Boogie, gonna get my baby back. Short does swing, make all the hula dance I wanna shake that thing doing the hookalele boogie. Hookalele boogie. Hookalele boogie. Hookalele boogie. Doing the hookalele boogie. Everything gonna be alright. Island Rumors resonates in such a way that it brings Hawaii wherever it goes. I see this band traveling to the Orient. I see this band playing some great show in Vegas. You know, palm trees and Mai Tais and a luau happening in the middle of the winter in upstate New York because it's really entertaining and we have endless possibilities of dance and percussion. If you like, a sense of theater, being able to expand this band into different areas. Yeah. 